crime never sleeps. Taser, please. But neither Stand still. do the cops. Battling on the front line. Taser! Taser! Oh, Nottingham's finest. Stop on for impact. Highly trained pursuit drivers. Specialists in entry. <laughs> and search. Four ounces of cannabis. Rapid response firearms officers. On police! Shoot yourself now! Please shoot yourself, shoot yourself! And the crime stopping force. Look my arm! Of the dog unit. Get down on the floor! Yeah. Wherever the battle takes them, they'll never back down. Because come at the hour. Yeah, that's what we still got him. Up on the back wheel, off the side of the road. Come at the interceptors. Wait, come on. Please. Don't fucking stop me again, will you? Coming on. He is uh, making contact with our vehicles. One of the most epic car chases in interceptor history. Tracking a suspected crack safe. Like Rob's bingo. And things that go pop in the night. Pop. Big, 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 It's a slow shift in the unmarked 3 series for John Lee and Dan Butler. Smooth and progressive if you don't mind, Daniel. So I'm not sure an automatic gun. <laughs> but things are about to change gear. Oh, that is There's a clone oil turbine system that's just come into Nottinghamshire from uh, Yorkshire. It's a fair height to the Yorkshire border. We're just going to make the ground up after you travel normal road speed up there. You're going to be 50 minutes, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. But Dan doesn't do normal speeds. On quiet roads, he's trained to top a ton. It's quiet, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Dan. While his partner... Take more, mate. Uh, we'll be up there shortly. What's the fastest route to the cloned car? That clone has just done the A60 Land Rover Northbound. John's been on the force for nearly two decades. He's ex military and a master map reader. A6 Who's led them straight to the cloned car? Where well, is that? Yeah, I've got it. Got that cloned Toyota. We are B6045, Porter Road towards Blyer Services. Guiding in the TPAC units, they tail the Toyota in the unmarked. Let's test this. They don't want to spook him into making a break for it. I'll try and give him loads of space now, yeah. John. Yeah. Where's everybody else at? Mike Yellow 7, we are on my children. Multiple units are racing to intercept. Including Macca at the wheel of a 155 mile per hour Skoda with rookie Mike Leask, who's in for the ride of his life. Can we contact uh, Ted, see if they've got any possibility of a stinger at that location? A stinger team's racing from the other direction. To take out the Toyota's tyres if the driver runs. When we get suitable vehicles, we'll go for a preemptive three car box. That's true. We've got near side indication that he's off, off, off. Well, then he's in it. There's definitely somebody in the back. There's definitely yeah, somebody in the front. And it does appear to be two, maybe three up. The race is on for reinforcements. No more staff on the A1, please. Uh, and Mike has his hands full navigating at these speeds. Right or left, he came right onto right blue. Well, it's right away. Really. I think he is aware of our presence now. Things are heating up, particularly for the rookie. This is where you've got to end your money, mate. This is the car, this is the one, this is the job of the night. No pressure, Mike. Towards the A1 this way. Yeah, you can go right onto high 
this week. And the eight ones here. Yeah. They've arrived. Oh. This is the off slip. But at the wrong side of the eight one. There's a diversion because it's clipped. I want to get A1 southbound, directions. Meanwhile, Dan and John have lit up the Avensis. We have uh, now illuminated the lights, the vehicle is failing to stop. Uh, and just off the A1, the pursuit is on. Speed 70, he is on the wrong side of the carriageway. We're just pulling off the A1 now behind the John. Mike's got Macca back on track and their stoner arrives to join the pursuit. Yeah, just your Two in the stick. We're approaching a humpback bridge. Traffic lights are on red. It is up to high risk. Stand by. The bad guy sails through at 75. Heading for a short, sharp shot at Barnbury Moor Junction. I'm not I'm ahead of you. I'm at the junction. Understand, Stinger. Understand, Stinger. Stand by. Spikes out. We're just approaching the junction for Barbara Moore. Three, two, one. Boom. Stinger! <laughs> With the Stinger team hidden off road, the runaway races over spikes that sting both near side tyres. Dan has a split second to react, while Team Stinger takes a bow in the hedgerow. Was the Sting successful? Sting, very successful. Close up, Macca. Macca, can you close up? Close it up. Easier said than done at these speeds. Well. This ought to be the end game. I think he has got... Uh... Near side tyres uh, deflated. But the cloned clown carries on weaving all over the road. Macca and Mike have closed up and get a closer look. There's two in there, one male, female. They're going to get ahead of the target, but not for long. This is proper wacky races in the back of beyond. They're trying to get the box on high risk. High risk, guys. We've got uh, another two pack more miles in the vicinity. Even with flat tyres, he's a tall order for two cop cars. Macca makes another dash for the high ground. But cars hold it. Shell shot. Maka gives way to Dan's Beamer. This guy's off the charts dangerous. Left the road and actually is uh, making contact with uh, our vehicles. Else? They need cavalry, pass. No other road users. Yeah. Still no other road users. But as the approach civilization, one opposer, worrying signs of life. We've got one vehicle towards standby. The stakes have been raised. Given his driving, if traffic gets heavier, they may be forced to abort. He's on the opposing side of the carriageway. Incoming. We have block tyre. Stand back. Incoming again. He's running out of rubber and they really don't want to let it go. Box up there. Oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Going to be any minute now. Just stay stand by, Matthew. Going to be any minute now. Stand by, Matthew. The thrash to Vences is making a right racket. That's that, that's his wheel. Where's his rims now? 
Dan goes for the overtake. But the bad guy slams the door. Dan, you want me to go in front? This is already smashed the back of this car. This is high stakes stuff. And as Magascoda switches to lead the pursuit. They're on borrowed time to box it in on safe roads. But they can't stop him. As Maka cuts inside, the runaway mounts the footpath, almost loses it, and misses an oncoming car by a coat of paint. They need to end this before someone's seriously hurt. Now it is, we need to stop this car quickly. Interceptors are embroiled in the mother of all pursuits. Here's uh, making contact with her, uh, our vehicle. Dan's Beamer and Maka are all over a clone Toyota Avensis. Stinger! <laughs> has already been hit by a Stinger. But on rims, shooting sparks into the night. The bad guy refuses to give an inch. And somehow he's still on the road. He's beginning to stop this car quickly. They can't afford to wait for the cavalry. This calls for death defying teamwork. Dan cuts inside again. A tactical nudge from his beamer spins the Toyota sideways as Maka flies by and bravely blocks its escape. It's a hell of a hit, but they've stopped him. Drives in the back seat. In one last dodgy manoeuvre, the driver leaps in the back, hoping to deny causing tonight's life-threatening chaos. It won't work, and nor will locking the car. You're the driver! You take seats! Get out! Get out! The driver's through the back window and into cuffs. The passengers soon follow suit, and the cavalry has materialised at last. The rest, dangerous driving, failed to stop. I think Dan said he's jumped in the back. And breathe. This vehicle has now been stopped. It has rammed uh, numerous police vehicles and caused uh, a fair bit of damage. This guy is definitely the driver. He jumped out the driver's seat as we came to a stop. Drives in the back seat. Backseat driver is only 18. Have you got a full license? So, uh, you banned. And it's been disqualified once already. No, 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 I did give his name, there you go. I just did give me name to that one, mate. You don't put my picture on, it's all on camera. I, I said, you if you listen, I said you did give me your oh, name. Oh, no, calm yourself it. down again. Yeah, I'm just saying. Bring it down a bit. It's all done now, isn't it? Yeah, you're not snapping your hands out. I'm not snapping your hands out, I've got all the hands. Are you sitting in the back of the car, mate? Is that all right? Yeah. All he's got is he's a disqualified driver. With no insurance. He's passed the breath test, passed the drug wipe. The car's been searched, there's nothing in it. It's on false plates, but it's not stolen. It just shows you the, the massive risks people are prepared to take ju just for, for being a disqualified driver. Miraculously, there were no serious injuries. Just a baptism of fire for rookie Mike and a headache for Macca. I blocked him in there and he's impacted the side of the car. So if the side airbag's gone off, well, that's hit me in the face because I was looking out the window. So, bit of a sore but I'm all right. They're made of stern stuff, in knots. Yeah, thick head from Mansfield. No further action was taken against the passengers in the Toyota and no charges made regarding the allegations of cloned plates. However, the 18 year old who hopped from the hot seat pleaded guilty to dangerous driving driving whilst disqualified and no insurance. He got a nine month suspended sentence and a 15 month ban, plus a 20 day rehab program and three month curfew under electronic tag. 
He was sentenced on his 19th birthday, a date he was lucky to see. I'll tell you what, if he had not been stung, he would have killed someone.